Welcome back to another movie news video. I have another staff announcement for the upcoming Dragon Ball Super film. This isn't particularly fresh information, I have to admit. If you do follow me on Twitter, you may have seen this before, but because of being tied up with Kamehameha Khan, I never got the chance to actually talk about this in detail on the channel, or even to really talk about why this news is so exciting. Again, I said this the other day, but I feel like every video I do on this film just needs to start with me screaming about how great everything is. So a couple of weeks ago, an animator called Takashi Hashimoto tweeted that he had visited the Toei studio for a staff meeting on the new Dragon Ball film. He confirmed when asked if he was on the film that yes, he is indeed participating, and this is great news if you're familiar with Hashimoto and his skills. If you're not, then that is what this video exists for. Hashimoto is what's known as a specialist effects animator. What effects refers to in the animation industry are things like explosions, smoke, debris, fire, anything along those sorts of lines, beams, auras, that sort of thing, any sort of particle effect, I'm sure you get the idea. He's pretty much the king of this type of animation. He's one of the most well-known animators in the industry for effects work. In fact, his role across probably the vast majority of his projects is as an effects supervisor, which means he's in charge of drawing and correcting any of the aforementioned components of scenes. For example, Your Name, Kimi no Nawa, the absolutely colossal mega-hit movie from Makoto Shinkai has Takashi Hashimoto drawing almost all instances of effects in that film. For example, the iconic opening with the comet blazing through the clouds is all him, and of course, spoiler warning, if you have not seen the film, please click away, I do not want to spoil it, the dramatic destruction of the town as the comet smashes into the earth. In fact, even in smaller scenes done by other animators, Hashimoto can still be found. For example, the dancing scene from ex Ghibli animator now Kawahara still has all of the fire within that scene handled by Hashimoto. His presence on this Dragon Ball Super film is actually not that surprising. I've mentioned in the past about how this movie is being directed by Tatsuya Nagamine, who of course also directed One Piece Film Z. Hashimoto was an effects supervisor on that film, so the working relationship is there, and I think while he also does have one with Toei having worked on some of their properties in the past, this does still reinforce the idea that your director's contacts are as important as the studio's associations or budget. So let's talk about what that means for this Dragon Ball film. My current assumption is that he will also serve as an effects supervisor. It would be extremely strange if he were to join this project and not take on that role, especially in light of his history as we've just mentioned. He's rarely on movies these days without taking on that role. Naruto, Bleach, One Piece, even TV stuff like Assassination Classroom, Final Fantasy XV's Brotherhood series, and Shingeki no Bahamut. This is what he does, and I am almost 100% sure Sure that that is what he's going to do on this film. That means that he's going to be elevating scenes with his effects. As I'm sure you've noticed from all of the examples of his work so far, this guy can definitely make an impact, and I think this is the type of thing a Dragon Ball film is going to greatly benefit from. In my head, I'm picturing these phenomenal explosions as characters are thrown into the environments, or on a more abstract level, the thought of beam struggles and other more magical looking effects have got me so, so excited for his involvement. I think I should also mention that while Hashimoto is obviously iconic for his effects, he can also animate action pretty well. And I think some of these scenes should hopefully give you an idea of what he could bring to the table from that point of view, either from himself or elevating other people's scenes. This is a real industry legend. Evangelion, Ghost in the Shell, Howl's Moving Castle, and other Ghibli properties. This guy is the real deal, and to have him attached to this film, along with all of the other staff that we know so far, is really making the wait for December exceptionally difficult. Once again, Toei have said they aim for this to be the best looking Dragon Ball film yet, and with every bit of new information that comes up, this feels like more and more of a sincere statement. Nagamine has a lot of contacts, Shintani has a lot of contacts, Shida and Takahashi are already confirmed for the film. The potential here is astronomical, I so, so hope that what is appearing on paper right now will translate to the screen perfectly, and all of this hype I'm building up for just won't be for nothing. I cannot wait. So let me know down in the comment section below how this news makes you feel, and what kinds of scenes would you like to see Hashimoto's hands on? Do you want to see beam struggles? Do you want to see characters getting thrown into the environments like I said, let me know. And as always, be sure to rate the video, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you next time.